Since we started uh, Rib Club off in Menorca uh, 11 years ago, we've grown quite a lot around Europe. Uh, we're now in Mallorca. We have five different locations, ranging from Andrach, Santa Ponza, Puerto Portales, Palma, and uh, Poyenza, the north of the island. Uh, we also have uh, two locations in Ibiza, Botafoc, which is in Ibiza town, and slightly more north, uh, Santa Eulalia. Uh, both great to get over to Formentera, where everyone, all our members love to go on a daily basis. Uh, we also have uh, now the south of France, the Côte d'Azur, uh, in Antibes, and we're just opening up in um, Cap Dai, which is just outside Monaco. So please get yourselves there. And we have uh, Costa Brava, just above Barcelona, a lovely town called Palamos. For this year, um, you heard it here first, we're just opening up in Marbella, in Puerto Banus. Uh, we've just been down there, we've arranged the moorings and we've got our launch party at the end of the month. So really looking forward to that. Uh, a rib is a rigid inflatable boat. Um, they are nine meters long, um, and they are the perfect day boat for our members. They have uh, 250 horsepower engines, um, plenty of sunshade, freshwater showers. They have capacity for 12 people, which is great because we always find when uh, our members take their membership out, they always seem to produce friends out of nowhere. So it's always great for that second family to come along for the days out. Uh, they're great for picnics, great for swimming off, great for snorkeling, you know, anything you can think of in that beautiful, beautiful blue sea. Good question. Um, comfortably, I would say 10, uh, legally 12, but they are all perfectly laid out and set up uh, for two families. The one question that I'm always asked about availability Obviously, my job as the founder of Rib Club is to create a club with uh, the same members year in, year out. And the only way I can do that is by pr providing the availability that members expect. So the answer is yes, we do limit the amount of members per boat we have and often we do have waiting lists because I need to make sure the same members get the use they, they expect so they renew the next year. Uh, bookings are split up into three different times. We have an AM booking, which is the morning. There is a default time of 10 o'clock. However, if members would like to go out earlier, water skiing in the early hours, say six, that's fine. That's the AM booking at 10 till two. We have the PM booking, which is very popular in the summer. It's 2.30 till sunset, or we do have the all day booking. All day booking is, as it says, all day. However, we do ask our members to be on the boats as close to 11 o'clock as possible if they have boats all day. So it means the boats aren't sitting doing nothing all morning. The boats are designed for that perfect day out. If we start at the back of the boat, they have a swim ladder, which makes it very accessible for the children or anyone really to jump in and out of the water. Uh, they have a freshwater shower just next to the uh, bathing platform. It's great to get the salt off after that gorgeous swim. Then we have a table which also converts down into a sunbed, but the table is great. It sits eight for lunch happily, and there is an electric fridge right underneath the feet, so the drinks and the food can flow. Above that, it also has a sunshade, which is great for one of those glorious sunny days. Uh, we have Bluetooth stereos, we have a toilet on board as well, which means members really never have to get off the boat if they don't want to. And we have electric anchors. So in all, they're the perfect boat if you want to stay on all day, sunbathe, eat, drink, have fun with your friends. After a member finishes their day and are back on the mooring, uh, we request all members to wash the salt off the tubes with the host pipes provided. Um, naturally take off their rubbish, empty bottles and food, etc., and obviously their belongings. It's all part of our checkout system and is very simple to follow. Booking's all uh, done through our app, um, which is our mobile application. 
we have a very simple process. Literally, the member has its own logins. They press book a boat, choose the location, choose the day, tell us the time so we know the boat should be ready, and press book. These bookings can be edited, cancelled on the day with no penalties. And the beauty of it is when members come back, they have to check out. It takes about three minutes, but then on checkout, it does alert other members' boats are back. And as some of our members will only be going out a couple of hours or so, another member can enjoy the rest of the day with no problem after lunch. We have a refueling service. Um, so the members, all they have to do on the computer is reset the fuel usage to zero. Simple, on the checkout, they take a picture of the fuel they've used and we debit their account. So there's no long queues, no waiting for the member to have to refuel. Members can book two days in a row. The only days, however, the only days they can't book is a Saturday and Sunday together. Yes, our ribs are fully capable of water sports, whether it's water skiing, uh, wakeboarding or donutting, kids love. However, our members do provide their own equipment. Our boats cruise at a speed of around 25 knots. However, they can go up to 40 to 45 knots, but we don't recommend this because fuel bills can be quite astronomic. On average, it ranges between 30 to 60 euros. Obviously, it depends on the distance you go, the speed a member might travel, and how many on board. But most people, on an average day, will do between 30 and 60 euros. Bad weather. No, it does happen very occasionally. However, we leave it usually up to the day to determine whether members should go out. All our members completely understand we aren't in control of the weather and are happy to change their day if the weather is bad. Yes, we do promote all members to go and try other locations uh, and we do also organise trips. So for example, we may do a trip to uh, south of France on Tibes and other members will be invited to come and visit that location with us and have a bit of a weekend away. The main thing about Rib Club is the club environment and mentality that has been built over the last 10 years. Uh, we have our own events in the different locations. Our members are all very like-minded people and they do end up becoming great friends, going boating together. So yes, one of the main attractions of Rib Club we find, apart from the boating, is the events. We have our own clubhouse in uh, Puerto Portales. It's the first one of many, I'm sure, but it means members can come down, have breakfast, have some drinks, and uh, mingle with other members. It also keeps me entertained for most of my days. I'm